can now look at on how to calculate median for group data. So remember, median also equivalent to second quartile. Okay, we use the same example about income of 60 employees. Okay, look at on how to find median for group data. Okay, first step, find location of median. So location of median for group data is given by n divided by 2. We call back in ungrouped data, location of median is n plus 1 divided by 2. So in ungrouped data, there is plus 1. But for group data here, only n over 2. Okay, step 2, calculate cumulative frequency. Why we need to calculate cumulative frequency? In order to determine position of data or location of data. Okay, why we need to know the position of data? In order to determine the median class. Okay, look at step number one. Okay, n over 2, the location of median. So, n is 60 divided by 2. So, we get 30. So, mean that value median is on the 30th place or 30th location. Okay, step 2, calculate cumulative frequency. So, first class, the frequency is 13. Second class, cumulative frequency is 13 plus 15. 28, next, 28 plus 20, 48, and last class, 48 plus 12, 60. So at the end, it must be equal to total frequency here. Okay, step 3, determine position of data. Okay, first class, what is the position of data? It will be 1 until 13. So here, you refer column cumulative frequency. So what is mean by 1 until 13 is, so the first place until the 13th place, the income will be from 5 to 900. Okay, next class, position of data will be so after 13 is 14 until, so look at cumulative frequency here, 28, so equal until 28. So means that on the 14 until 28 place, the income will be from 1000 to 1400. Okay, continue here. So here the class will be 29 until 48. Last class, 49 until 60. Okay, now we want to know where is median class. Okay, look at location of median just now. So, location of median is 30. Okay, look at column position of data. Where the 30th location is located. So, if you look at here, the third class, will be the location of median. So 29, 30, and so forth. So here will be the median class. Okay, once you determine step 1, step 2, step 3, okay, now we can use formula in order to calculate median. Okay, this is the formula for median of group data. So median equal to LM, so LM is lower boundary of median class, plus N over 2, which is location of median here, minus summation of F M minus 1. So subscript M minus 1 here is to refer to cumulative frequency before median class. So summation here referring to cumulative frequency before median class. Divided by FM, where FM is the frequency of median class, multiplied by class size. Okay, now, substitute the value. 
Okay, lower boundary of median class. So this is median class. Since this data is give you in limit, so what is the class boundary or lower class boundary? 14.5 plus n over 2, which is the location of median, minus cumulative frequency before median class. So this is median class, cumulative frequency before median class, which is 28. Divided by frequency of median class, which is 20, and multiply by class size. So class size, upper boundary, 19.5, minus lower boundary, 14.5. So when you calculate this one, you will get median equal to 15. Okay, now to give or how to interpret median value. So we can say that 50% of the employees having income or earn, 50% of the employees earn more than RM1500. Okay. Median equal to 15, but now data was coded in 100 ringgit. So when we interpret, we need to interpret in its actual value. So 15 multiplied by 100, we get 1,500. Or, we also can say that half of the employees earn more or less than 1,500. So if you have 60 employees, 50% will be equivalent to 30 employees. So that's how we calculate median for group data. Previously, we already looked at on how to find median value or also equivalent to Q2 value. Now, let's look at on how to find first quartile value Q1 for group data. Okay, note that steps on how to find Q1 and Q3 third quartile is similar on how we find value median or Q2 value. Okay, now let's look at the step. Okay, first step, we need to find the location of Q1. So, location of Q1 here is given by n divided by 4. Second and third step, still the same. We need to find cumulative frequency. So, here second step. So, why we need to find cumulative frequency? In order to find the position of data. So, the purpose of position of data is we need to identify where is Q1 class. Okay, last step. Use this formula in order to find value Q1. Okay, let's go back to step 1. Look at here, location of Q1, n over 4, equal to 60 over 4, we get 15. So, value Q1 will be on the 15th location. Okay, now let's look at this column, position of data. So, we observe that second class here, will be the Q1 class because 15 is within this interval. 14 until 28. So 15 is within this interval. So here will be the Q1 class. Okay, once we determine where is Q1 class, now let's go back to formula of Q1. So Q1 equal to L1. So L1 here is lower boundary of Q1 class plus N over 4. So what is N over 4 just now? Location of Q1 minus capital F1. So capital F1 here is cumulative frequency before Q1 class divided by F1. So lower case, lower case F here is frequency of Q1 class multiplied by class 
for Q1 class. Okay, now let's look at data here, Q1 class. So, lower boundary is 9.5 plus location of Q1 is 15 minus cumulative frequency before Q1 class. So, this is cumulative frequency Q1 class. So, before is 13 divided by frequency of Q1 class which is 15 multiplied by class size. So, class size here is 14.5 minus 9.5. So, remember class size we need to use boundary not limit. So, when we calculate this one, value Q1 is 11.83. So, if you look at this formula, capital F is to denote cumulative frequency and lower case F here is to denote the frequency. Okay, now let's look at on how to interpret value Q1. So, we know that Q1 is the first 25% of the data. So, we can interpret 25% of the employees earn. So, if Q1, 25% will be less. Okay? Less than RM 1,100 ringgit. Sorry, 1,183 ringgit. You also can interpret this value as 75% of the employees earn. So, if 75% will be more than 1183. 75% of the employees earn more than RM1183. Okay, that's how we find value Q1 for group data. Okay, now look at on how to find third quartile value or Q3. As I explained before, how to find Q1 and Q3, we follow steps on how to find median value or second quartile value. So step 1, step 2, step 3, still the same. Where first step we find location of Q3. So here, location of Q3 is 3N over 4. Second step, we find the cumulative frequency. So again, why we need to find this, this cumulative frequency? Because we want to know the position of data in order to determine the Q3 class. Okay, now look at the location of Q3 here. So location of Q3, 3N, so 3 times 16 divided by 4. Then we get 45. So, value Q3 is on the 45th location. Okay, now look at last column, column position of data. So, we observe that third class here will be the Q3 class. Okay, why? Because location of Q3 is now 45. So, 45 is within this interval. Okay, now look at how to find Q3. Look at the formula. So, Q3 equal to L3. L3 is lower boundary of Q3 class plus 3N over 4. So, 3N over 4 is actually the location of Q3 minus capital F3. So, capital F3 here is cumulative frequency before Q3 class divided by F3, so F3 here is frequency of Q3 class, multiplied by the class size. Okay, now look at the value. So what is lower boundary of Q3 class? 14.5, so here 14.5, plus 3N over 4, which is the location of Q3, minus 
cumulative frequency before Q3 class. So this is column cumulative frequency before Q3 class is 28 divided by frequency of Q3 class which is 20 multiplied by class size. So class size here is 19.5 minus 14.5. So when we calculate this, we will get Q3 equal to 16.75. Okay, now let's look at on how to interpret value Q3. So again, Q3 is our first 75% of data. So we can interpret 75% of the employees so 75% for Q3 will be less less than RM 1875 ringgit so again when we want to interpret make sure we interpret in its actual value okay instead of we use 75% we also can use the 25% but if 25% it will be 25% of the employees earn more than RM1875 ringgit. Okay, that's how we calculate value Q3 for group data.